What does it mean to cast lot? Is it gambling? Is it sinful? Or is it biblical? Something that's mentioned in the Bible from time to time is this term, this phrase, this statement, casting lots. What does that mean? Well, the truth is we're not totally sure how it was actually done, what was used. Maybe there were different ways to go about doing it. But what it seemed to have been was in some ways a game or a object of choice. And it could have been sticks. It could have been something painted, some painted cards. It could have been dice. It could have been stones. It, I think it varies from culture to culture. There's no, it doesn't seem like there's one uniform way to go about doing it. But the thing is, though, it seemed to be a way that they would determine something without their, without the possibility of it being anything rigged. And so, matter of fact, for an example, let's go to Proverbs 18:18. 18, 18. It says, the cast lot puts an end to strife and decides between the mighty ones. In other words, uh, if you cast a lot, uh, let's say if it is dice, let's say if it is drawing straws, something like that, who has the longest straw? Again, we don't, we're not totally sure exactly how this works, but it was something where no one can say, hey, you cheated because something outside of you and I or the parties involved, something else decided. And so whatever it landed on was whatever it landed on. Now, the question is, is this something that God prefers to do? Is this God's preferred means of doing things? Well, first of all, let's go to uh, Proverbs 16, because in 18, we're not sure if he's saying that that's what he wants to be done or this is just how the culture was. But in 1633, we get a little bit of, a little bit more of an explanation. The lot is cast into the lap, but his every decision is from the Lord. In other words, whatever God wants, he can use that 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 cast lot for his decision. Now, does that mean that every time a dice is rolled, a straw is drawn, or anything like that, some lots are cast. Does that mean that God is in every decision? No, it does not. If a pagan is is in the middle of, of casting lots or whatever, or rolling dice or stones or what have you, does that mean that whatever it lands on, whatever the decision comes about by that cast lot, does that mean that God is behind that? No. When God would have them do so, God would have them do so, so that they could kind of see that it's God. Because for them, the Jews, and for us as believers, and I'm not saying that believers ought to be doing so, but we do see a couple times in the scriptures in the New Testament, one from unbelievers and two from believers where they do so. Uh, one time, it's not God has nothing to do with this. The other time, God is in the midst of this. And so it's it's if the believer is doing so, if the Jew is doing so, then he's doing so with the hope, with the belief that God is going to cause it to work out the right way. So whatever it lands on, then the belief is that God was behind that, or it's just, just a, a game of chance. One example of them casting lots, and this is not God in the midst of this, but it's just stated as a point of fact of what's happening in Matthew 27, 35, they are casting lots for Jesus' clothes. And when they had crucified him, they divided up his garments among themselves by casting lots. And so if this was them drawing straws or rolling dice, what have you, we don't know, but they cast lots. Again, we don't know what the lots were, but this was by choice, I mean, by chance. And so no one could argue, well, you cheated me. No, we cast lots and whatever, however the lots fail was however the lots fail. However, though, there are times where we see that the lots cast would work in favor for God's people. We see that also in the book of Esther, but then we also see it here in uh, Acts 1, 20, let's start in verse 23. They're getting ready to choose a new a new disciple, an apostle, to replace Judas. And so what does they say in Acts 1.23? So they put forward two men, Joseph, called Persabas, uh, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, now look what, it, look what it says. You, Lord, who know the hearts of all men, show which one of these two you have chosen. So in this case, it's God that's choosing. He says, which one of these you have chosen to occupy this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they drew lots for them. And this word here for drew is they had, uh, they drew, well, they drew. And so this seems to be, maybe they are drawing straws. Sometimes it's casting, they're throwing. So it looks like the lots can vary how they do it. But again, it's a game of chance, but in this case, God is actually involved in this. And so in this case, they drew lots and then look how God chooses. They drew lots for them and the lot fell to Matthias and he was added to the 11 apostles. Remember, it says earlier, you have chosen. So it says, you know, the hearts of men show which one of these two you have chosen. So in this case, they're drawing lots, 
but it's ultimately God is going to be the one that's going to decide. So he causes it out. And that makes sense because he's God. He can cause anything to happen. If it's dice, if it's drawing straws, if it's um, sticks, whatever it is, if it's if it's some sort of stones, what have you, whatever God wants to be, he'll make it be. But do I think that it's a sin to do so now? If if we are doing something that's just harmless fun and we're not taking advantage of people and things like that, it's, it's a game. There's nothing wrong with that. But if we're doing so and we're making decisions and we haven't consulted the Lord, that's where it becomes a problem. Now we're leaving, especially if we're leaving a godly decision up to, to a game of chance and we haven't consulted the Lord because we don't see a command for us to, to, uh, to draw straws or to cast lots or what have you. We don't see that command. Does that mean that gambling in and of itself is a sin also? Well, that will be a study for a different time. Uh, do I think that this is gambling? No, this isn't gambling, although they did use casting lots as a system to, to gamble. But in this case, uh, I would say rather than doing that, it would probably be more appropriate to just pray and then also consult other brothers and sisters in the Lord, consult uh, your leadership uh, team around you, uh, your family, and then be led in that, in that regard rather than casting lots. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, let me know what you all think. In the meantime, be blessed.